gonna need gas at some point. is over there I'm assuming anyway got our passes <laughs> what <laughs> what are you laughing at I'm like, what's he what's he filming <laughs> Look at no, your, your belly yeah, I wish. <laughs> that's it so I, I was filming my belly anyway we're gonna check this place out got some uh, here's the bikes and all that they have built check those thing out that's Jim Lynch. Corey Ness built this one. Bill Dodge. So we walk in and uh, a guy that used to be like the service manager for Capital Harley Davidson in Michigan walks up and he's like, you don't remember me, do you? He now works for um, Baker Drivetrain Transmissions. So just never know who you're gonna run into and where you're gonna run into them at. Remember how I said I was on a diet vacation? Vacation from my diet? I'm eating a donut. Look at that. I'm gonna be so back up to where I started losing weight if I keep eating like this. Oh well, I'm on a vacation, right?
it's good to see you trade. All right, guys, so let's check out all of the uh, silent auction stuff they got going on here. It would be on the, the artist's names are on the decks, but um, I Just got him a new windshield and some new, new windshield, new fender lights. I don't know what you call those. Fairing flares, maybe? What do you think those are called? I have no idea. Okay. Ask them. talking handlebars for Indians so that's kind of cool they're actually he let him sit on his bike and uh, kind of get it fitted to see what he likes so that he can get a uh, Ken all set up so how cool is that all right we're at the next tent which is custom handlebars for for Ken to get some new handlebars on the Indian here so they're getting started said it'd take probably like an hour and a half. So we're gonna go into JP Cycles. All right, Ken, so we went from one booth to another booth, and what happened when you got to the booth? I ran out of gas. <laughs> On your Indian? On my Indian. Does it not tell, does it not have a gas gauge? It said you were low for like so, the last half hour. So when I jumped on the expressway, it had four bars, it said. Uh -huh. I have not learned in this Indian, and um, I don't think they're quite accurate enough yet. So it went from four bars to absolutely zero low. So we get no off bars. the bars. No bars. We get off the exit, and I was going to pull in. And I was like, ah, I'll go with the vendor. I'll be fine. Pull in the vendor, I run out of gas. So now I got to go buy a gas can and uh, go get me some gas. You know, the I bet they have some gas cans here. You know, the funny part of that is so my bike is, is basically on red. So I was like, I'm going to run out of gas. And I know Mama Badger's bike is right on the verge too. 
But all I'm saying I'm is kidding. neither one of the Harleys ran out of gas. Don't jinx us, seriously. Don't jinx us. We'll go back and start the damn bike and it won't I think start. as punishment, we should just make him push it to the gas station. There you go. Front. I, and I'll record it. Because I don't really want yeah, I ain't pushing it in. I don't really want to buy it. That means we'd be here for another hour, so. No um. <laughs> what you doing, Ken? We tried everything to get him to push it up here just because it would have been great footage. <laughs> I'm a great friend, Dana. Look, I will walk to the gas station with him in moral support. Oh, that was a $50, 50 gallon, dollar gallon of gas right there. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a $50 gallon of gas. <laughs> It'll get you here. Now we just gotta make it here without having to push the Harleys. But if we're pushing Harleys, everybody be like, oh, it's just a Harley, that's expected. All right, guys, funny story. So we are here with Amanda hey. and Tim. And this is the first place we met them. We were like walking across the parking lot. We heard some like funny sounding accent. Hey, hey there's the Badgers! So, um, we turned around and that's the first time we met them. But we didn't realize till today that they met the Badgers at the Badger Meter. I don't know if you it's can read down. that. It's upside down. Okay. Can you see that? Because I can't see whether you can see that. So anyway, they met the Badgers at the Badger Meter. Meter. We are here for another meeting and uh, we're going to reenact that moment and take a picture. Guys, so Amanda is reenacting our first meeting. The people I hang out with. What? <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are again, working on the Indian. Just saying, got low tire pressure. Already ran out of gas. I don't know what to tell you. We ran out of gas. We ran out of air. We're just running out of everything around here. To the bars. What, what are you doing now? Are you fixing a, the Indian again? Yes, my mirrors. Holy crap. My rate's higher than an Indian rate, so. <laughs> well, maybe it'll actually be fixed. <laughs> this one's right now. Yeah. So when I put this all back on, I couldn't get my mirror to go up high enough, so I had to re- Where you want it? Yeah. Relocate my mirror. Ritual is that you get done working on it, you gotta do an Indian dance all the way around. <laughs> Alright, tighten the mirrors. I might have to take it for a test drive. Yeah. <laughs> gotta tighten the mirrors on Alright, guys, we're all loaded up and headed to the Wormong Loop. We have Mandy's machine leading the way.
back here. Bar up top, bar down below. Ocean right across the way. You probably can't see it, but it looks like it's gonna be a full moon tonight. So this should be fun. We're gonna go watch Hairball at um, Broken Spoke. So it's gonna be a late night. That means I'm gonna be up making this video at midnight, one, two in the morning. <sighs> gonna be a late night. Are you wanting to do Hairball? Are we doing Hairball? Uh, I assumed you. I assumed we were. Okay. <sighs> Well, the rest of the crew went to watch Hairball. Mama Badger and I headed to the house. We're kind of pooped. Are you pooped over there, Mama Badger? <laughs> Are you pooped? I'm so worn out. And it's only what? It's 8, 8.08. It's 8.08. I still got to do my video. I've got work to do. So, exactly. yeah. So we're exhausted, but we've got work to do. So we'll be up for a few more hours getting the work done. And uh, then tomorrow's another day. Another full day, I'm sure. We had a blast today. And uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs>